May the words that I say and the words that you hear be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. There are two ways one can approach pain and discomfort, through it or around it. Around it is certainly the path more commonly taken. We avoid discomfort. We do what we can to avoid the feeling of pain, loss, grief. We distract ourselves. We binge watch. We binge eat. We do what we can do to distract our minds from the things that disturb us. But the funny thing about pain and discomfort is it comes back. The body knows the score. As much as we want to try to ignore it, it's going to come back either through a change of pain, anxiety, depression. Truly the only way to address pain is through it, to look at it straight in the eye, to address it, its impact on our lives, ourselves, our emotions, our souls. When I start to address pain, my default response is pity, pity for myself. Oftentimes it's a pity party for one, I know there are some of you on this call who have received invitations to my pity party, who have met me in my pain. Maybe you yourselves have sent out those invitations to invite people into that distress with you. It's very likely that there have been moments in this last year plus now that you have thrown your own pity party for one, a chance for you to isolate yourself from the ones that you love, the ones that can help heal, can help you address, walk through that pain with you. Even in our isolation, I hope, I pray that this is not always the case for you, that you've been able to take an opportunity to reach out to the loved ones and not do this alone. I need my God on the cross. I need the pain of Palm Sunday and Good Friday as much as I need Easter, if not in these times, maybe more so. I need to know that the perfect example of God's love knows pain. I need to know that when given the opportunity, God did not try to walk around pain, but walked through it his path, the passion, and the cross. This Sunday represents to us two things. One, it is a reminder that we do not do this alone. That in our pain, our suffering, our discomfort, our wounds, our trauma, We walk this path with a God who knows pain. We walk this path as a community of Christians in the name of the Christ on the cross that we do not do pain alone. We walk side by side together, either in true partnership at home, picking up the phone, united in prayer, but knowing that we are not alone. The other thing that this Palm Sunday reminds us is that even as soon after the triumphant procession, God, God's self, finds God on the cross. Not simply an act of pain or service, but of love. And while we also celebrate the resurrection there on the cross, at that moment, God also stays. God is present, awoken in the tomb, which we will rightfully celebrate next week. But God also stays present on the cross. 
the God of the crucifixion. Because on that cross, God remains for us a lifetime, a worldwide reminder that that death is for us, both for our salvation from sin, an invitation into eternal life, but an invitation into the present moment to be reminded that God is not a God distant of our pain and suffering, but God knows it just as much as I do, as you do, and as we do. As we approach language that sounds like a light at the end of the tunnel, for many of us, we will explore the long-term implications of this year of quarantine for years decades, and probably even centuries to come. As we continue to move forward, we are not alone in that pursuit of understanding. As we look back upon the trauma of the last year, the God that is before us is the same God that was behind us, walking with us each and every step of the way through the darkness into the light, and maybe back and forth a few times too. On this Palm Sunday, as we mourn the death of the incarnation on the cross, we do so within the tension of the pain and hurt, knowing that our humanity is capable of condemning an innocent man to death, but also in thanksgiving that in God's innocence, we are given the gift of a reminder that the God who loves us also suffers along with us. This Palm Sunday, as we are invited into an observance of a holy week leading up to the Easter resurrection, let us keep our minds pondered on the cross, the conflicting image of death and life, pain and unity. Let the cross this week be a reminder for you, for me, for us, that we do not do this alone. Amen.